As more and more Americans receive the coronavirus vaccine, the concept of herd immunity might actually be within reach. Herd immunity is the idea that once the majority of individuals in a population have antibodies to an infection, you begin to slow the transmission of that infection because many of the people it is getting transmitted to are protected. Once a lot of people have protection, it will reduce rates even if we are doing things that would otherwise expose each other to infection. Probably close to 75 to 80 percent, if not more, to get really good herd immunity. We want to reach 70 percent of the adult population by the 4th of July. While the percentage of people with antibodies needed to achieve herd immunity varies among experts, most agree it's above 70 percent. We know that we need 70% or more of individuals to have antibodies, um, wet either from the vaccine or from natural infection. But that's kind of the bottom threshold. We will see reduced transmission. When we get to 80 or 90%, it will, will have better protection. There are two ways for a population to become protected by antibodies. The first is through infection. Some Republican lawmakers advocated for this approach while pushing to open up the country early in the pandemic, which many doctors referred to as morally reprehensible as it would lead to more deaths. This resurgence or surge in the disease, New York has very few deaths and very few new cases. It has nothing to do with the lockdown. I believe that it has a great deal to do with the level of immunity they have achieved. Sweden also embraced this policy early on but instituted aggressive lockdown measures after experiencing much higher rates of infection and death than their neighboring countries. We did not manage to protect the most vulnerable people, the most elderly, despite our best intentions. Although it's too early to tell for certain, some experts believe that antibodies fostered through natural infection may not last as long as the antibodies created from vaccines. Vaccines, of course, are the second way to achieve herd immunity. But with many Americans expressing vaccine hesitancy, what happens if we can't hit that 70% threshold? If our vaccination uptake stalls and we continue to see high transmission rates and the virus continues to mutate, um, we're gonna be in a situation where we continue to see hospitalizations and deaths, we continue to remain at risk. And so we will get to a point eventually where their infection burns through enough of the unvaccinated population that you get to herd immunity that way, but that's not the path we want to go because that involves a lot of morbidity. Vaccine hesitancy can also create a situation in which the unvaccinated population breeds new coronavirus variants that are dangerous to those already vaccinated. The more that the virus is able to circulate, the more worry there is that one variant might have emerged that um, is resistant to our current vaccines. So researchers are right now working very hard to monitor and study that and to develop future vaccines if needed, I'm hopeful that our researchers will be able to develop that. We're all in this together, urban and rural, north and south, east and west, old and young, all race groups. And if we don't get high uptake among all groups, we're not gonna be able to reduce transmission.